Hello, my name is Todd, and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. Hello and welcome. This is the first video documenting our journey as we take a piece of raw land and attempt, keyword is attempt, to turn it into a self-sustaining, life-sustaining farm. Well, no, it's, it's, it's not an um, easy journey to take on. Uh, this property that we have out here, we purchased about five years ago. And uh, when we first bought the property, it's, it was, as about as raw as you can get. And when I say raw, I mean raw. Um, there's no roads, no buildings, no structures, no power, no water, just a piece of land that hasn't been touched in over 50 years. Um, and our goal is to take this piece of land and build it and build our legacy here and build something that, um, you know, we can hopefully pass down to our kids, our children and grandchildren, and hopefully future generations to come. Um, is like I said, when we, when I said raw land, I mean raw land. Um, we have snakes, alligators, bears, deer, turkey, coyotes, scorpions, bugs, lots of bugs. I'm not a bug person, um, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, piece of property that we were lucky enough to find and were able to purchase at a time when, uh, you know, things were going well. And, um, you know, once we got out here and started clearing property, I mean, I started out here with a chainsaw and a machete, um, just coming out one day on the weekend and, you know, getting what I could get done on that day and driving all the way back home. Uh, I haven't mentioned yet, but we live our house is a hundred miles away, so it's not an easy task. It's not something you run down the road and do. And I stay in a camper. We have a small camper that we bought. I was able to clear enough property to where we were able to put a camper out here so I could come out and work weekends. Um, we had it, you know, lived off a generator and a water tank for two years while we were uh, clearing property and, and, you know, building the things and starting, starting the farm. Um, I'm not one to uh, sit idle and just wait. So while a lot of this was going on while we were saving up and saving up money for this and that and making plans and doing everything, I started, you know, with, uh, we started with, uh, first of all, we started with bees. Um, and then we ended up um, building some uh, pig pens. We were raising pigs now. And, and last year we were able to, uh, purchased some cattle and now we have 13 head of cow cows so uh dexter cows and um so and as you can see right now we're inside the carriage house or you probably can't see i'll show you some videos of the carriage house we're in the process of building uh the carriage house which is going to be a temporary living uh living uh place for us until we eventually build the main house which will be a couple hundred yards over that way um, and, uh, but you know, the, the, the main goal is to get out here 
and get moved in here so that um, you know I can spend more time doing what I love to do and that's uh, build things and, and do things with my own hands. Um, I can't tell you how satisfying it's been so far and you know it's been it's been very tough um, but there isn't a day that I have driven the hundred miles from our place up to here that I didn't want to come up here. Um, we uh, in our plans I say, tell people well, we want to build a life-sustaining and uh, self-sustaining and life-sustaining farm. And what I mean by that is we don't want to just have a farm where we just dump a bunch of money into. And I'm trying to, you know, build a system or, or, or develop a system where the farm eventually will take care of itself. Um, all the animals, any animals that we sell or products that we sell, from the farm will all be put back into the farm so that it can maintain itself without uh, you know coming out of pocket and we all know that's a tough thing to do but you know I believe that we can do that um, I've learned so much by watching YouTube and uh, and and gain so much um, knowledge and you know to be honest courage um, seeing other people do live their dreams and you know I, I told my wife I said hey let's 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 live our own let's let's build our own dream um, we became tired of the rudeness and the and the craziness of the city life um, out here you know it's it's so peaceful and quiet but it's just a more laid back uh, culture it's just it, it's just a different lifestyle and I know a lot of you probably have you know some people out there probably have the same type of lifestyle or understand what, what I'm saying but you know it's it's 30 miles to town to go to Lowe's to get anything but it takes 30 minutes whereas in the city it may be five miles away and it still takes the same 30 minutes and trust me it's not as enjoyable driving down the country back roads like it is out here as it is in the city so uh, it's it's just a much more peaceful life um, for me and my wife and like I said eventually hopefully our kids and grandkids can come out here and enjoy what we you know what we're attempting to uh, build um, it's 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 a it's a it's been a journey um, and as I tell my wife there's there's no we don't go out on dates or whatever it's usually adventures it's I don't I don't do anything the easy way so uh, I've always learned to where um, if I see something and I want to do it, I do it. And so here we are, we're doing it. And, and you can too. Um, our plan is to build a farm and not uh, go through um, the bank and do it out of pocket. Uh, and in doing so, it, it's taken time. Um, plus the fact that I would have a full-time job. My wife also works. Um, she's not able to be out here every weekend with me so she takes care of the house when I'm out here it's been tough on her you know um, I'm here every weekend and I come out every Tuesday after work and every Thursday after work to check on the farm and to feed the animals and check on the animals and the critters as I call them and uh, you know I, I don't I don't regret one minute that I spend out here. It doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah, it's long days. I mean, sometimes I get home after dark and, you know, I have to, I have a house to take care of in town or I mow the lawn and take care of the, you know, the things that, that we do. And it's, uh, you know, it's burning the candles at both ends, I guess you would call it. But um, to me, if, you know, somebody said, hey, if you had to set aside a few years of your life and work extra hard to, to get your dream, to build your dream and have your dream and live your dream, would you do it? And obviously the answer for me is yes, because here I am. Um, thank you for uh, joining us. I hope you enjoy our videos, the future videos to come. I hope, and if you do, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button because we would like you to join us uh, uh, in our journey as we um, attempt to do something that so many people dream about or think about but never take take that leap to do that leap of faith um, you know uh, 
Am I crazy? Probably. Um, I, I would say yes. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, um, sometimes it takes a little bit of that uh, craziness to get you to get off the couch and, you know, get out and just attempt to do things that a lot of people don't think are even possible. Um, we started, like I said, about five years ago when we purchased this property. Originally, we purchased a 20-acre parcel, and I was able, through the process, to talk to the real estate um, individual and, you know, made some uh, interaction with the owner and was able to purchase another 20 acres um, uh, right next to it. You know, believe it or not, 0% financing. And, uh, it, you know, it just we were just lucky. And then we were able to just recently, over about a year and a half ago, we purchased another 18 acres that we're going to use for pasture for the cattle, which they're already in now. And we've still got a lot of work to do on that. But, you know, it, like I said, it, it, to me, it's worth it. And, um, you know, with the way the world is now today, uh, you know, there's so many things that are forgotten and, and just taken for granted. Um, the way our forefathers were raised up and, and came up, they, you know, they, 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 they more, they were more, I guess, they, they survived by being efficient themselves, not relying on other people. And as we all know, in the past year or so, um, that, that could be a reality for all of us. Uh, this country has, has taken a turn, um, in a direction that you know I don't really agree agree with, and I'm proud of this country. And you know we have uh, a a system in place that has been around and done so well for so long, and so many people are trying to change it. And you know um, some things are just better left the way they are. Uh, morals, respect, those things those things are going by the wayside. And uh, you know. Unfortunately, social media has given everybody an opinion about everything when it's not necessarily needed. But um, as, as long as it's taken in a, in a positive note, you know, I'm all for it. But uh, the constant um, criticism, criticism and opinions of people, negative opinions of people, have just uh, turned things to where it's, uh, it's just made it to where, we, you know, we just didn't want to be part of that anymore. So we wanted to come out here and it was our dream to come out and build a um, working farm. And like I said, life-sustaining, self-sustaining farm to where we don't have to buy animals. Where do we raise our own animals up and in turn their animals, you know, those babies come up, grow up and we get the offspring off of those animals and we raise them for what other purpose, whether it's for meat or for, uh, for sale, um, or um, you know any other uh, things that we do you know it, it, we want it all to be kind of like all have a circle you know all be a part of a circle and um, we have a garden we have uh, raised beds and a hoop house where we grow our vegetables and like I said it, it's something when I say self-sustaining and life-sustaining we want to eventually be to where we can most of the food that we eat and, and, and the things that we get and put in our bodies come from our own farm. And to me, there's, there's no better satisfaction than, than putting your own hands on something, building something with your own hands and reaping the rewards from that, which is uh, what this is all about. Um, you know, the, our, our channel here, it's, like I said, it's our first video. You have to bear with me. Um, don't know how to edit videos, it's taken me months to get the courage to uh, shoot these videos and 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 take the uh, that big step um, actually it's been tougher starting this YouTube channel than it has been taken on this you know I have the, the hard work ethic and the knowledge to learn and the willingness to learn um, that I, I don't foresee anything um, out of reach uh, of any of the goals that we're trying to uh, attain. Uh, my wife has put up with me. Um, I'm constantly gone um, on every weekend. I'm up here on the farm. Uh, every Tuesday, 
I come up to feed every Thursday. I come up to feed and then I turn back around on Friday after work. I get off work and pack my stuff up, pack my dog up. And, and if the wife is not working, she comes up here and we spend our weekends out here in the, in the backwoods, as they call it, um, building our, our, our dream. And we want to do this without going to the banks, without getting in debt. And, you know, um, so far, it, you know, we've done it right now. Like I said, we have almost 60 acres. Um, we have uh, some old used equipment. My little red tractor, the little tra red tractor that could is still going. It's not going to be going much longer. Um, I purchased a backhoe a couple years ago and it's been one pain in the fanny, I can tell you that. Um, I've learned a little bit more about mechanicing than I've wanted to learn as far as backhoes go. But um, right now it's working, doing us, doing us, doing a great service to us. And, you know, I'm glad we made the decision that we did to, uh, you know, get it. Um, I probably would have done things a little differently the second time around, but you know, the opportunity came up and I took it and you know, when you make a mistake, you know, you deal with it. Uh, I always say there's no problems, only solutions. So, um, the solution was to deal with it and move on. And where we're at now, I say the, you know, the channel is Honeysuckle Farms the beginning. It's the beginning of our YouTube channel, um, but not the beginning of our, our dream. Uh, we've, uh, I've had always had a dream to have my own animals and live on a farm or work on a farm and uh, build my own house. I've built multi, multi-million dollar houses for wealthy people and you know I uh, took my all my knowledge and my my experience and and built things that you know will hopefully last a lifetime for those people and it's time to do it for myself. You know, um, can you do it? Of course you can. Um, is it going to be easy? You know, it just depends. Uh, it hasn't been easy for me and for us. And, and, but it's been, in, it's been enjoyable. And in the long run, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll ever regret one day. I, I hope you enjoy our videos. Um, I hope you join us on our adventure. I'd love, uh, for you to, uh, you know, assist in any way, if you feel necessary comment by all means i feel like i told my wife i'm probably going to be the one one of the most commented on channels because i don't follow the rules and i don't do things the way everybody else does um i really uh i just it's it's what i want to do um i don't ask for help i have some great friends and family that have supported us and helped us in whatever way they could and that's basically all you need um, my wife is, is a rock. She supports me. She puts up with me. And that's a task in itself. All this other stuff aside, putting up with me is, is a job. And uh, I praise her for that. Um, I, I, I couldn't have done this without her. And although sometimes she, she doubts my uh, intentions and says I put too much on my plate, she's still standing there. She's still there for me and, and supporting me. Um, when I get home every weekend and uh, for, for that, I can't, I can't thank her enough. But, uh, again, I hope you love, love the videos. You like the videos. If you do click like and subscribe and hit that notification button, uh, feel free to comment. I've got to close things up because it's getting dark. I'm losing light and uh, I've got a hundred miles to go before I get home. Um, but uh, just remember, and I'll say this, I'll say this a lot. Don't ever give up on your dreams. We're living ours, and you can too. Thanks for watching. See you again.